Hey guys, I uh, got a quick request uh, the other day from my buddy Jeff. Uh, I mentioned in a video last night about the uh, the rake and how it's driven and how it sweeps and when it sweeps and why it sweeps. So I figured I'd do a quick video on that. We'll just start right from the back here. It's a little dark over this gearbox, but that's your four to one assembly right in there. That crank arm can't really see the sweep links in the way, is bolted to the the main shaft that comes out of the 4 to 1. And you can see the position it's in now as the machine's at zero. Um, basically, the 4 to 1 turns, 4 complete turns every cycle, the 2 to 1 turns twice, and the 1 to 1 turns once. Um, the rake cam itself, which is right here, will turn once. That controls the pattern of the sweep, how it raises and dips and all of that. Um, but basically, got your crank arm here. This long rod here goes all the way up to the front. That's the rape sweep sweep link. That attaches right here and right on top where it attaches. That's the block I was talking about last night. Now out in front here. Right there, that's the rape, the rake sweep hook. It's up right now. That raises and lowers. That controls when the rake sweeps, which is controlled by this rod here, which runs down into the detector. So that raises and lowers it. Um, the rake only sweeps for 90 degrees of the cycle. Uh, the the hook will engage that block at uh, 135 degrees and from 135 degrees it'll sweep back and forward which is 90 degrees of the cycle and release at 225 degrees um, aside from all the other components that's the basic gist of it I'll turn this on get a couple of cycles for you guys you'll see when you when it turns on the, the hook will raise once it starts cycling Get in a little closer for you. There's the hook right there. You see it'll raise up out of the way and then drop back down. And you'll hear a click when it engages. That's 135 degrees. And then when it releases, it's 225 degrees. So you'll see the hook will raise up here. So the block misses it. Now it'll drop. That's 135 degrees and 225 right there. As you can see, that block just keeps going back and forth. It's going to do that four times per cycle, since it's part of the four to one assembly. And uh, your rake cam here only turns once. That just controls the sweep pattern. So I'll get all light on that for you, just so you can see how that rake cam follower follows it. I'll get a little closer to be nice. Okay, it falls off that high edge and lowers. Come back, push it forward, and raise it back up. And cycle it from up front one more time for you guys to see the hook. Yeah, we'll search this since I don't have the uh, flashlight. So we'll raise that away, and then lower. And then raise it again, and it'll release it. Uh, one other thing I should mention is. Uh, I mentioned last night the the rake <clears throat> the rake arms are spring urged to be forward. That's due to the spring tube. This is right here. Uh, this hooks up to the front right here of the seven pin rake arm. Back in the day, you can see if I get a shot of it. Where, right where that board is. There actually was there, at one point there were two uh, two spring tubes or bazookas as we call them. Uh, these are older machines. They did have them at one point, and there was uh, they were hooked to both sweep arms. But the newer ones, or uh, rake arms, excuse me, the newer ones only have them on the seven pin side. And uh, this also helps in uh, lifting the deck because the rear of it back here that's actually an ear off of the deck lift shaft. So it just helps to spring urge the deck back up, and when it's all the way down, because the deck is very heavy. 
And uh, we'll just cycle one more time for you guys so you can see the hook again. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully uh, that answers some of your questions. Uh, best I can show you too if I do come up front here. You can see the, uh, the rake stop. If I push on it. See that little gap, but once I once I let go of that, I could push on the rake and it'll go back a little bit, but it's hooked to that spring tube, so it always comes back forward again. So uh, hopefully that answers your questions. Uh, I got a request today, so hopefully uh, I can get that done at some point soon about the scoring. And uh, hopefully I answer your questions. Thank you all again for everything. If there's anything else you want to see, just let me know. Okay, bye bye.